hello friends glad to have you with us we are live it is our eight o'clock campfire talk thank you so much for being a part of um our kim's community we're glad to have you with us just want to remind you so want you to, i want to ask you to like share and to subscribe depending on what platform you're looking at this on we wanted to just come and just say hello to you and just want to let you know that we are just here to have a good time so if there's anything that is on your mind that you want us to discuss anything that um you want to have a good conversation with know that we are here and I'm trying to um, share this to the different platforms and to folks. So glad to have you here. Hello, hello, and welcome to all of you. Glad to have you on. Thanks so much for joining us. Glad for you to be here. We are live on, in Kim's community, and we're having a fireside chat. So welcome, 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 one and all. We ask that you like, share, and subscribe, depending on the platform that you are on. And we're here just to talk about some of our... Um, so there's some hot topics, some funny, I say hot topics, I use that word loosely, but funny topics. Um, a lot of us have had a lot going on this week. Tell us and put us put in the chat what you've been going through this week or things that um, you've been dealing with. Would love to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you to the fireside chat. We've got a couple of guests who are going to join us um, and just have a good time with our conversation. And I can see them popping in right now. So glad that they are here, just getting ready, set and go. Hope you are ready because I'm getting ready to bring you on live. <laughs> All right, there you go. Hello, hello, hello. Glad to have you with us, Miss Katrina. Welcome to Kim's community. Katrina is in Kim's community. Glad. To, oh, let me turn my light on. There we go. I'll tell <laughs> you. I got a. I got a lamp with a light bulb at the top because I can't plug in my circle light. But <laughs> glad to be here. Good evening to you, Katrina. What's happening in your world? Good evening. Um... <laughs> Not a whole Sorry. lot. Okay. <laughs> uh oh, just glad to have you with us. I'm trying to change some of the. We had a conversation we had last week was about the coronavirus, but tonight we're going to make it fun. We're just going to have a lot of fun and just talk about um, kind of what's happening in our world. And um, one thing that I wanted to bring up okay, what are you drinking? Got to know in the nice coffee cup. If, if it's something bad, make it something good. Just make no. it up. <laughs> So I am a tea drinker. I love tea. My kids have always talked about how I like to drink tea all the time. So I am actually drinking tea and it is watermelon lime tea. Ooh, I've never I heard of that before. I know. It's very good. Watermelon lime. Okay. Going to have to delve into that watermelon lime. What other kind of teas? Because I usually stick with like the green tea. I know I've had like the, what is it, chamomile tea or something like that? Oh, those um, boring teas. <laughs> oh, those are boring. Okay. You're right. Watermelon lime. Love that. Love, love, love that. Yes, yes, and, yes, yes. You have to dry them out. And you got a big old cup. Tea, when I think of tea, I think of a cup like this, like a little teacup, little bitty no. teacup where you take like two sips and then you're like done. <laughs> but you got a big hunk of hunk of tea cup. Big exactly. time. You have to. See, when you're a professional tea drinker like I am, <laughs> you have to have a big cup. <laughs> that makes sense. I couldn't help but notice behind you, you have a, I keep trying to get myself centered. You have a um, board, a vision board behind you. Yes. Talk about that. Oh, I, okay. So um, every year I usually do a, a vision board. Um, I actually have two vision boards, but only have but so much wall space and um so <laughs> but um my vision board it just basically talks about all the things that i want to do the places i want to go and they're visual so that every day when i walk by it i see it and it keeps me motivated to keep me working towards the goal of accumulating all of this now the funny thing about it is be careful what you put on your vision board uh -oh. because you will see those things come up and they will come really through. Yes, they will. I've and heard people say that my little vision board, my pictures are falling off. I put glue on them and they're, they're leaning and curling and all that. And I need to go back and look at it and see if the stuff has happened. But what what are, what kind what's what are some of the things? Um, so I have where I want to. Um, time is money. So I'm trying to make enough money so I can get my time back. Yeah, because I have spent a lot of time in this world, <laughs> and I need for my time to come back. 
Um, I have like Honolulu Hideaway. I want to take a trip to Honolulu. Okay. Um, make it work. It sh- it shows like the dr- my dream kitchen that I want in my dream house. Okay. Um, it shows. It says that your business just became so much more rewarding. So it has little things on here to keep me going, so that I constantly am working at what it is I want to do and where I want to where I'm headed in life. And it shows a little place like I want to stay in a tree house one time. I want to stay there. I got so close, so close. Uh-huh. They were booked. <laughs> I was going to say, you really don't have to put you want to stay in a tree house on your vision board. Just go out there in one of your trees and get up <laughs> and stay up there. <laughs> yeah, and I'll be up there sleeping. Next thing I know, I'll end up on the ground. So <laughs> <laughs> it's trying to stretch, right? <laughs> but get up in a tree house. But yeah, so that's just pretty much. The things that I put on my board is just visually seeing what it is that I, where I want to go and where I want my life, the direction of my life to go in. So that's just that's just one of my boards that I have. I love that. Absolutely love yeah. that. Well, I know that one of our viewers. Thank you for sharing that. I know that one of our um, viewers, Eric, um, had a co- or chimed in about the tea. Black. I think it's black tea with milk. I don't know that I've ever had that. I've never had that. Yeah. I'll try that. Uh-huh. Black tea now I've heard tea. of people doing their tea and adding um what do you call it? What do you put in co- creamer to it? Okay. I don't I've done that, that before. Um it wasn't I don't remember it being anything that I was like excited about. So yeah. I don't think I've done that anymore. But um maybe he just does I don't know, Eric, tell us, do you do just the black tea and then you add the milk, or is it just like a tea bag with that combination in it? I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good I, I don't know good question but thanks for sharing that Eric we certainly appreciate it I know you, um, our brother does tea but he does like the loose leaf tea that you like pour in uh, you know a container and then you mm-hmm. pour the hot water over it and it makes the tea under yeah and I'm, I need to ask him where he gets all his tea from but he does that so I um I have some loose leaf tea like that as well and I had gotten it from um, home goods Okay. But when you you and uh, Destiny, which is my daughter, went to Washington, she brought me back one of those little tea things. You oh, know, that's right. You yes. yes. And, put, and I've used it and I actually like it. Really? OK, I'm glad to hear that. All right. Yeah. I, one day I do it and I post it on Facebook. OK, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I remember when we were looking for something and that was just something unusual that she actually wanted, you know, to get you to make sure she was mm-hmm. able to share it with you. And so I'm glad you were actually using it. Yay. Yes. I love it. (laughs) Love, love, love that. I am trying to share this to, oh, I think this is it. Let me see. Live now. We asked you guys, if you're watching, to go ahead and like and share and subscribe, depending on what platform you're watching on. We certainly would appreciate it. (laughs) We certainly would appreciate it. Understand that. I understand that movement. (laughs) We won't keep you on, right? We won't keep you on long. Um, but one thing, okay, one of the questions that I had for us to talk about is when you are at a restaurant, are you that person that always has to talk to the manager? Um, I know, I know. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, before you answer that, we're gonna come back to that. Eric chimed in and said, Yeah, milk, yeah, with milk, London style. What does that mean, Eric? What is London style? Do you know? I don't know. Don't know what okay. that is. I'm not, I don't know. London style. And so maybe that's just like the milk separate. I might need to Google that. Does anybody or maybe know? Maybe that's or- how people in London, that's maybe that's where they drink their tea with milk. Oh, okay. Okay. With milk in it. And so that's I, London I, style. I, I can be British for a minute and do that. That's not, <laughs> no I feel problem. like I need to hold, hold my little teacup. Yes, still. <laughs> we are having tea. Let me move the banner so you can see. Yes, so we can have tea as our fireside chat. Right, mm-hmm. right, With right. the little teacup. My cup is super little. Yours is like the big daddy of the teas. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> That's, I had ordered this teacup off of, well, offline, I think through Amazon, or whatever. And it was a glass uh, cup. I thought it was hard plastic, but it was glass and it was shaped like a heart on the inside. And oh, I was washing cute. that thing. I was like, oh, I love my cup. And I put it on the side of the thing. And I was like, well, I'm going to use my cup. Next thing I know, the cup fell in the sink and broke, shattered. Oh. I only had it for like one day. So I'm going to have to order oh another God. one and share it with y'all. Oh, that'd be cool. Wow. 
Charles. Okay, he said yes. And I'm thinking, yes, that's just the way people in London drink it with milk in it. So do you, I wonder if you drink, right. if you have crumpets with it and, you know, when they have like tea time, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're like, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna get a little purse. So I can be like the Queen of England. I was gonna say, what does the Queen? Okay, that's a question. What does the Queen carry in her purse? She doesn't right. need a car keys. Um, she may have a tube of lipstick. She doesn't need her house keys. She doesn't need a driver's license. So what is she carrying in the purse? That's that. That's the famous question. Has anyone ever answered that question? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I need to. Uh oh. What questions do you have? Let me move on to this one and just create another question. What does the Queen of England carry in her purse? <laughs> Probably her medication. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what is she, well, she wouldn't need that Queen of England. I don't know. I don't know what she would. Maybe doggy treats. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just, just throwing it out there. <laughs> that is funny. Doggy mm. treats or anybody have any input? What does the Queen of England carry in her purse? What if she carries a shotgun like she's packing? <laughs> I mean, what if she has a gun or a taser or mace? Guns like this, mom. Right. Like, I she will shoot hurt you. That? I will get you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, by the time she gets knocked. Yeah, okay. By the time she gets knocked out. Knocked over, right? so. <laughs> hey, Ted, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Glad to have you with us. We are in Kim's community. Glad to have you. We're doing what we call our fireside chat. And it's basically just any hot, I'm saying hot topics, but just any topics that come up. Um, we're just having a, a good, good time just talking about it, just kind of lighthearted. There's really no script or anything like that. So we ask that you guys like and share and subscribe, depending on whatever platform you're watching on. And we just want you to join in on the conversation. Biscuit for teas. This is from, oh yeah, Eric, good one. That's what the queen carries in her purse. Biscuit <laughs> for the teas. I love that. <laughs> That's right. a good one. That's a good one. Anybody else want to weigh in on what the queen carries in her purse? Let's see. Maybe eye drops for her eyes. Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs. You're probably right. And it's not Tic Tacs. It's that old peppermint that the ladies in church would give you, the mothers <laughs> of the, the ushers. That's what she carries. She doesn't carry Tic Tacs. It's hey. ugly peppermints. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. And when it, when you get it from them, when you're a kid, it's got like paper smashed to it and hair in it. And they're like, here, honey, this is OK. And you're like, oh, I don't I want, want that. No more. <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> like when we were younger, we would just say, OK, okay thank you. And, uh, but kids nowadays, they'll say, I don't want that. Don't uh -uh, don't, don't like your little one. She will say, I don't want that. Don't give that to me. That's she nasty. Sure and don't let her see something she really likes. She's like, I want that. And go right. with <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and she's what? Only four. Right. <laughs> right. That is so funny. Absolutely. <laughs> welcome, guys. Welcome. Welcome to Kim's <laughs> Corner. Kim's Corner. Kim's community. We're glad to have you with it. It's a new. I mean, listen, we've rebranded this page so many times. And this is the this is the name that's going to stick. Kim's community, because we're creating a community. We need to hire not hire, but vote in a mayor. We need to vote in somebody that's going to be a sheriff, um, somebody that what I don't know what else, somebody that's going to be the postmaster that will deliver mail. But right now we're sitting around the fire having a fireside <laughs> chat. And if there's anything that you want to talk about, feel free to put it in the chat, in the comments rather, and we will um, do that. OK, our next thing is we were talking about. Let me remove this one. I'm over here. I need to find somebody to kind of work on the side for me to put in. Uh, the different questions. But the question is, are you that person when you go to a restaurant, do you have to talk to the manager about whatever is happening? I know you are rolling your eyes and I feel you. Uh, we are here. One thousand <laughs> percent. I get that. All right. Go ahead. Chime in. Do you always have to talk to the manager at a restaurant? I'm not talking to the manager. Now, I do have a friend uh -oh. that every time. And I mean, Every time we went out, there was something wrong with her food. And she had to talk to the waiter, the manager, the owner, the gatekeeper, <laughs> whoever. She talked to everybody about her situation. And I'm sitting over here like, like, but girl, see, you need to stop. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. See, the thing about that is when you like send stuff back too much or complain too much, 
what about the waiters that take that food and you know you've seen some of those videos where they yes. do stuff to the food so mm -hmm. ooh, are you concerned that waiters will put something in your food or spit in your food that's that's like oh and i and i don't mean any harm but in my mind i'm thinking thank god i got my food now uh -huh. because <laughs> i'm not sure what your plate is gonna be like when it comes back so yeah mm -mm, i don't mm -mm. what would make a waiter mess with your food though for those of you who are waiters former waiters i think the statute of limitations has gone by um Let's see. I have a cousin who I stopped going to a restaurant with <laughs> because of that. I don't blame you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that is crazy for that reason. I mean, for every little thing, there are some okay. things that you can just get by with and just mm -hmm. let go. Appreciate your comments, Eric. Is there, are right. you concerned that waiters will actually spit in your food or do something to your food? Or if you are a waiter and Oh, I don't know how you can say it. I know, right? I see the look on your face. If you are a waiter or have been a waiter, how do you, um, how have, what is the worst thing you've seen? Let me not say what you've done. What right. is the worst thing you've seen? Don't incriminate yourself. That's right. Exactly. Don't, do don't it, incriminate Because you need your job and we cannot afford to pay you because we're going to put on our payroll. No. Exactly. <laughs> if you are a waiter, have been a waiter, um, tell us what you have seen, the worst thing that you've seen behind the scenes. And again, do you, are you the person who always has to send stuff back or always has to talk to the manager? I don't send anything back. I don't talk to the manager. I'm just like, Oh, it's fine. Even if it wasn't what I ordered, you know, and it was, yeah. wasn't made to my specifications. I'm like, that's good. No, don't worry about it. Right. I just, I just don't. <laughs> I don't either. And if you're going to comp my meal or give me some off, I'll take that, but I don't want you taking it back. I don't want you fixing anything. Just, yes. I'll just, I'm okay. I'll eat these crackers and cheese over here <laughs> and call it a day. Cause I know and drink my water <laughs> exactly <laughs> and get full. So, <laughs> Ooh, that raises another question. And I'm typing this in. What have you done, whether it's on purpose or by accident, what have you done to get a meal comped? What have you done? To get a meal comp or I should say to get a complimentary meal to get a yeah I'm, I've never had to uh, I've never done anything <laughs> it was them that did it to me so right no, I haven't I haven't no. but I mean not that you've done anything on purpose but um something that happened and, and the manager was like, you know, don't worry about it we'll take something off or we'll you know even if it was their fault I that has happened to me before, but I wasn't the complainer. I was just like with the person, but whoever I was with, I can't even remember. They were like, this is not right. And I'm going to, and I was like, like you, I'm like, manager came over and was like, okay, we'll take 10% off or whatever it was, or we'll give you one free, one of your meals free or the meal you're having an issue with. But just wondered if there was something that people do, not that we would use it, but mm -hmm. that, <laughs> we just wanted mm -hmm. to know if there's something that that people do to get a complimentary meal. What have you done to get a complimentary meal? Yeah, no, no. Um, <laughs> let me see. Now, I did one time order a steak and I wanted it well done and they made it barely done. So <laughs> Ooh, it was really and then I was like, uh, like this is too not done in the middle for me. And he was like, you know what? We're sorry. It's okay. You know, I'll just, you know, take it off. You don't have to worry about paying your meal. You know, we'll just make you another one. We'll put another one on. And oh, I've wow. gotten it that away. But other than that, no. I understand that. Do you like your, your steaks well done, medium well? How do you like your steaks? I like it medium well, but I like it more on the well side. <laughs> so when I say medium well, sometimes they go more on the medium side. And I'm like, yeah, that's a little too much for me. But I, but other than that, though, um, most places that I go to when I ask for that, they usually do a good job. Okay. Yeah, they usually. I do know a job. lot of people eat their steaks. Um, I well, I used to get mine well done, and then I felt like it was like a rock, a brick yes. sometimes, and it was like dry. But then I would see other people, and I'm like, their steaks look really juicy, right? I know you have to chew it, like. <laughs> Chew it and let it go to your first stomach, like the cows right. have two stomachs. <laughs> right, this got really digest here. <laughs> exactly, but um, I started getting it 
medium well mm -hmm. or medium. Um, and it has juice in it. I was reading a comment. Eric wrote, I got one and I ordered, um, oh, he got, a, I guess, a free meal. He ordered a low country boil and only got three shrimp. Oh, yes. <laughs> I know. that's you the deserve whole point. It. <laughs> exactly. You deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you deserve it. That's the whole point of the low country boil is to get the shrimp, the scrimp, as they right. say. Exactly. <laughs> you might as well know potatoes and corn. <laughs> I am. Tr I hope that this cha this shared yes. to my other page. I'm trying to get it to share. I'm gonna blank it. I know everybody's got stuff going on. How has the weather been? Oh, oh, it's been so rainy here. I don't like it. Rainy? Yes. Okay. Um, you yes. know what I'm saying? Rainy. It's been, it's rainy here. I had to run outside and pull my car in the garage because I had to get something out of it. But it's rainy here. Um, I don't know why yeah. I said that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not liking that, and it's been like that. I think for the last what a week, week and a half it. now, or something. <laughs> oh, I'm not liking it because it makes me not want to do anything. Like I oh, literally could goodness. stay in my bed all day. Whew, that's if I didn't have children, nother... I would. <laughs> <laughs> that is a whole nother question. What on a rainy day? Let me do that. Let me say that on a rainy day. What do you do? Yeah, I looked up today and I'm like you. I looked up and I was like, I have not done a thing. Take this one. <laughs> Sorry. See, that's, my she does, that's your fine. What do you do on a rainy day? I'm going to have an, uh, an assistant be able to do this <laughs> on one day. What do you do on a rainy day? What do you do on a rainy day? Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I wrote it right. <laughs> what do you do on a rainy day? Welcome to the fireside chat. We appreciate you guys being here. Yes. Me and rain do not mix at all. Ooh, and especially if you're trying to get this is why my hair is in a ponytail too, because it's like, oh, if y'all could have if y'all had seen this like 30 minutes ago, you'd have been like, what happened and why? <laughs> <laughs> we invite you to like and share. We thank you guys for coming in. Okay, oh. let me see what my other question is. We definitely won't keep you guys long. Um it's like every time I'm trying to do something, here comes a kid. I'm of confused. course, they want to be a part of it. <laughs> If you need to step away, you can. I can take you out. But we have our other guest um, who is on here, and we welcome you. Hope that you are ready to come on because we're getting ready to pop you on. Hey, oh, I pop. might need to change your title. Hello, hello. You got to move the camera so we can see your face. Oh, someone's messing with my camera. <laughs> oh, hello, lady. Hello. How are you? <laughs> How's it going? Hi, how are you? Good, good. I don't want to mess with this too much or I'll have you on the floor. <laughs> That's why. Okay, I got it. I had to change the title. It might inhibit some of our conversation. <laughs> See, Eric says on a rainy day, he sits and he sips. He sit and he's sitting and he's sipping. Just enjoying a rainy day. Our, 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 <laughs> sipping, Eric. <laughs> Just sipping. <laughs> <laughs> well, Katrina said. I have tea. It's tea. I have yes. tea. Oh, the tea. <laughs> sipping the tea. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So what do you do on a rainy day? That's what folks do. We, I binge watch movies. I was watching... Um, some movie, I think it was called The Acorn Man or whatever. I just figured that we have HBO, it found out that we have HBO Max. And oh, it you didn't is, know you had it. Okay. Right. Yeah. Well, we had it, couldn't figure out how to get to it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like I'm a kid in a candy store on that one. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell you one that I slipped up on was watching, and you hear so much about it, but it was called Noah. And okay. it's on, on uh, Prime. And, uh, it is very, very interesting because it's not like you think that it's going to be. He made me think about things in the beginning that I had, I think, preconceived ideas about. But he so, made me, and I won't tell you, because when it comes to you and you see what he's really talking about, you're going to go, what? Uh-oh. <laughs> so, but it's good. It's really good. <laughs> 
when we is were talking about the show you're talking about noah is that the one you're talking about noah but i think it's spelled no. with an e but just you can voice do it just say noah and it should pop up yeah noah oh, on okay. prime mm -hmm. you said noah on prime amazon prime yes in prime okay. yes okay it was it was a surprise it was it must have been very realistic and not very like biblically based sanitary no, it wasn't a cartoon with a moses and a staff it wasn't that it was biblically <laughs> based but it was new thought oh okay yeah i'm telling you it, it made me look at it i was like oh i never thought about that maybe that's right <laughs> oh okay Oh, yeah. I have to go and check it out as soon as this is over. Check it out. I know Trina said, um, and I'm just backtracking a little bit. She said that she is drinking tea. And we were talking about, you know, um, Eric saying that he was TV and sipping during a rainy day. And then when you asked Eric, what are you drinking? He was like, a gentleman never tells. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame love. you. I wouldn't tell either. <laughs> We love that. Love, love, some love things, that. Some things when they say you take to the grave with you. That's one of them. Exactly. <laughs> or some things are nobody's business, as they say. Ah. Okay. I know there was one thing that I saw. Um, welcome for those of you who are just coming in to Kim's community. We're having a fireside chat. And it's just the time for us to let our hair down, just to laugh a little, giggle. Um, anything that you want us to talk about, put it in the chat and we'll bring it up. Or if you, we ask that you like, share and subscribe, depending on what platform you're watching this on. Um, I, next thing I wanted to bring up or mention, I saw this on somebody's post, their Facebook post. It says, when a woman or a man sits in their car after they arrive home, what are they doing? Because sometimes y'all sit in the car for 20 and 30 minutes and you know the kids are looking out the window, mama, daddy, where are you? Waiting for you to come in and you just sitting out there with the music playing like you have no responsibility. So <laughs> what are y'all doing sitting in the car in the driveway? <laughs> Regrouping. <laughs> Praying like we're walking As the they say, chilling, just it. chilling. <laughs> right? <laughs> Exactly. I know some people put that they're like, if it's their favorite song, that's on. It's like, I can't get out of the car until I finish my favorite song. You know that. <laughs> some people are like, I just need to get my head together before I walk in that house. Yes. Absolutely. And then sometimes you're eating something you don't want to share. Oh, I never thought that's about that. One. That's <laughs> like, a good one. Oh, this ice cream was really good, but I don't have enough for everybody. So just let me finish it while I'm here. <laughs> right. although, you ate, although you ate a quart before you got to home from the store. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody's counting that at all. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not a quart, maybe a pint. <laughs> nope, so, nobody's telling that part. And somebody put that they were... Um, contemplating on whether or not to go in to go in the house they didn't know if they should keep driving <laughs> now you can't just leave the folks to fend for themselves wow You're like run, run away from home right, right exactly <laughs> wow See if I know. especially for all of you mothers out there mm -hmm. So what are you guys do? Um, let me see. What was the other thing? Oh, rare. How do you like your steaks? We were talking about that also. How do you like your steaks? Well done or rare? Or I'm anything doing, in between? Yeah, I'm doing a well done. But not, sometimes it's so well done. It's like you pull it apart. It's like fiber. Yeah. <laughs> like fiber. That's, that's exactly <laughs> it. Exactly. <laughs> and I hate that, but there's got to be something that's called well done, medium well done. <laughs> or yes. I think I medium, medium well, well. It's got mm -hmm. a, it's not pink, but it's not all the way done. And it leaves right. a little I don't juice. I just a little smattering of pink here and there, but I don't want it pink. But I want it well done, <laughs> but still tender. You don't want the, the, um, the steak the uh, mooing while it's laying on the plate at you, like moo. <laughs> I don't want the shoe leather on my plate, huh? Right. <laughs> and you know what I found out? Um, the red that you see that drains off of your plate. I was watching one of the like behind the scenes on the Food Network. It's uh -huh. not. It's not blood. It's like what is it? Like the au jus sauce or whatever that they put on the steaks. 
um, that they. Yeah, I know Aju from Pink Me. Well, it's I not called Aju. It's not called that, but it's similar to that. Let me read direct. Let me they actually that. put that on your plate. They put it on the steak. And it runs off. <laughs> And it's red. You're making it sound like I'm making it up. Well, that's what they said on the Food Network. I'm just, I'm Look, just passing it along. You we might have to write that video. You might have to get a, that clip and play it next time we're on. <laughs> we're gonna go to the restaurant next time and ask me, "Y'all put some aju something on this?" <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna say this is not aju sauce. Then I hate that I even use that word. Well, you know it's not aju, but whatever that pink stuff is that runs off. Did you put that on here? <laughs> What you put on my thing? Right, exactly. <laughs> well, sorry, I'm up here trying to check, trying to share this, share this, and we want to invite you guys. Thanks for chiming in to Kim's community. We're having a fireside chat, just talking about things, letting our hair down, anything really that comes to mind. And we ask you to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for being a part of the conversation today. Um, I know today was a little rainy and one of our other questions were, was that, what do you do on a rainy day? Well, when I came in the house, my house, I had been out and had to go out earlier. When I came in the house, my house was saying, go take a nap. I mean, just everything about it was go take a nap. It was dark. No lights were on. Nobody was here besides me and my husband walking in. And it was just saying, go take a nap. It was calling you. It was calling you. Yes. Yes. (laughs) Nothing wrong with that at all. And you answered, obviously, you answered the call. Well, I thought when someone called me and told me about something that was on um, in the rooms, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I called you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> in the what do you even call it? I clubhouse can't. room. Yes, I was clubhouse telling her room. about the clubhouse. And, and, and I heard the house calling me, but the person kept saying, "Just get on, just listen." So <laughs> I kind of missed the call. Oh, sorry. We won't keep you on long here at all, at all. <laughs> that is our, funny. One of our first questions, and you might have a little insight to the, to this. What does the queen carry in her purse? Oh, now say that again. As, as Trina is sipping her tea. I said, what does the queen carry in her purse? Oh, whenever you see her, I have decided that she probably has not a Kleenex, but a handkerchief. Because oh, that's that, a good one. And it's so light. There's never any bulges. You never see it pop open. And I mean, somebody <laughs> else has her credit card. Somebody like else yours. has her money. Like your purse. <laughs> right? <laughs> what did you say, Katrina? It's like a backpack. So. I said, like, Mine too. <laughs> it's like a suitcase. I need wheels on it. Seriously. She just kind of dangles it on her arm. So you know there's nothing in it. Exactly. That, little arm, that little arm would not be able to take it. <laughs> <laughs> at all we welcome you guys to kim's community we ask that you like share and subscribe if you have a question or a comment or something you want us to talk about please feel free to um, put your question in the comment section and right now we are asking the question what does the queen carry in her purse and probably nothing because she or I mentioned she doesn't need a car key she doesn't need a house key um, she probably doesn't even need a credit card. Does, she, does the queen even go to yeah, restaurants? Credit cards, probably. I mean, the, the monarchy probably has credit cards. And so somebody who's around her, her yeah, assistant yeah. has probably got the credit card. Yeah. What does she need it for? She's only going out for occasions. What it's just wave. <laughs> but it was, gloves. There you go. But I was thinking about the queen never goes to a restaurant. I don't think I've ever I seen any. Out. Huh? She's not going to McDonald's. Right? <laughs> through the drive-thru. She's going through the drive-thru. <laughs> I want that burger with extra onions and pickles. And cut it in half, right? <laughs> and, and a knife. So I, no, you cut it in half. I'm the queen. Exactly. <laughs> and have it in the plastic paper. And hold, and hold the ice on my drink. There you go. But I've never seen in the tabloids anything like the queen was at this particular restaurant, you know, yeah, shooting I, the picture no. through the window. Does she, no. she doesn't go out to eat. She has the, the food brought into her. 
She never eats out. I mean, she's going to a restaurant. They take over the whole restaurant. Why would she go to a restaurant? She got she money. She, she has a dining room and she orders food. She now, now, look, we have experience now since we were in the shut-in. Everyone has experienced how the queen lives. You pick up the phone and you order. <laughs> they drive it to your front door. In her case, they bring it inside and put it on the table. Exactly. But ours is dropped at the front door. That's the closest you're going to get to being a queen. <laughs> Probably in your right. life. That, that is it. That's the point. You're right. Yeah. You're right. But if you think about it, though, if she has gone to a restaurant, think about how that restaurant would be packed like forever because people would want to go and eat where the queen was eating. Let's yes. Google it. And someone Google, has the queen ever gone out <laughs> to a public <laughs> restaurant? I Probably think not. In fact, let me go for it. Okay. <laughs> Get back to us on that one. But here's another question. What kind of restaurant would she go to? Would she go That's to a point. fast food restaurant? Or would she, I mean, like if she's in a hurry going from a meeting, I know Katrina's like, she going to Starbucks. Right. <laughs> but she handles her own schedule. So if she couldn't make it, wouldn't she just say, I'm going to be 45 minutes. No, she'd have her secretary say, the queen is going to be 45 minutes late. Hold your That's meeting right. until she gets there. <laughs> that is true. That is true. She's but sitting in drive through eating her hamburger. <laughs> the queen would never go through a drive through I'm sure, but she might go to a Starbucks. I you know. think or just have it brought in. But you know what? Her handlers would cool. probably wouldn't let her, though. You know, what I don't I'm think saying? she's ever been they because she has security. a staff that's on there 24 seven and that's all they do is cook yeah. for her and whatever she wants. I don't think she ever goes anywhere. <laughs> I don't think they let her though. Cause you make a good point. Uh, is anybody on comment section saying something about this besides us? I'm just no, I don't curious. see any comments, but you guys are, are we okay. invite you to chime in. Has the queen ever gone to a restaurant? And if so, what kind of restaurant would the queen go to? We invite you to comment, please. Have you been able to Google that? Oh, let me. I'm working on it. Here. Almost there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of restaurant? The restaurant would the queen go to? I could see her going to a restaurant with white tablecloths. It's got to be like a real, like beyond five stars if she goes. Yeah. 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 She needs a 10 star. Exactly. Do they have 10 star? Oh. oh yeah. No, I think she made that up. <laughs> they're probably supposed to be closed down. I'm sure they're there. Okay. Has the queen ever eaten at a restaurant? They said oh, the queen occasionally eats out for celebrity reasons. And when she does, ah. she prefers to dine at luxury hotels such as the Goring and the Claridge. Claridge's. She has also been spotted at Bellamy's Quia. I don't have never heard of these restaurants. Quia Galino, yes, the Ivy, and the royal favorite is Fortnum's. Okay, okay. So, so, so she actually eats out. Hello to all of you. Welcome to Kim's community. We are just having a fireside chat. We're letting our hair down. Um, just talking about any and everything, we ask that you like, share, and subscribe, depending on the platform that you're watching on. But we've got a couple of folks in the comment. Somebody wrote that she eats at the best restaurants. And then this one, I love this one. They said that the queen eats at a soul food restaurant and sneaks in the back door. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and does she have hot sauce on the table, too? <laughs> That's what's on her know, Can you bring me Hot sauce hot is sauce? a condiment. A Along with salt and pepper, you got to have hot sauce, right? At the soul food restaurant. <laughs> that is, that is hilarious. Oh, oh wow. she sneaks in the back door. Let's see. The oh, other one said here, the nicest here's restaurant. Another comment. It says, it turn I'm sorry, were you reading? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, see, it turns out that the Queen's favorite restaurant is a luxury five star, you hit it, Katrina, spot in central London. So no Big Macs then, in parentheses, and it's not too far away from her Buckingham Palace home. And it's called 
Claridges, 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 C L A R I D G E S. Claridges. Sounds like soul food. <laughs> That's why she can't pronounce it. It's soul food. Hey, Charlotte, thanks for chiming in. Glad to have you with us. <laughs> Would the queen go to a soul food restaurant? I wonder what kind of music she listens to in the car. I love it. Eric's the one. Oh, he said, I, Eric, here's one. Did you see the one Eric said about the. Um, Say it again. The soul Eric food. has one that's funny. At 820, he put it on. Oh, let me go back up. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that is <super> funny. <laughs> oh, we were talking about um, sending food back to the restaurant. Um, if you send things back to the wait, if you're if you're that customer that always has to talk to the manager or do you always send your food back? And so um, and then we started talking about whether or not you've gotten a free meal. And so he said he got he ordered a low country boil and only got three shrimp or scrimp. Oh, I thought he was say. Gotcha. Yeah. Sorry, Eric. It would have been funny for the queen, though, too, because a right? low country boil. I'm sure she'd <laughs> she have probably a got that too. <laughs> but I wonder if she eats food that you have to eat that you can eat with your hands. You no, know, because no. she has gloves. No, no, she's not eating that kind she of thing. She does not <laughs> eat with gloves at she's all. <laughs> I can't see her eating with gloves or with her fingers. Me either. Oh, we Me got a either. lot of people commenting. Um, let's see. Velva says the nicest restaurant in France. Hello, Charlotte. Glad to have you with us. Chime in, chime in. And then Velva says, yeah, expensive foods. That's what you can see the queen eating. Again, guys, we thank you guys for chiming in. Ask for you to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for being a part of the conversation tonight. Let's see. They do not take food back to, to give you more. They do not take food back. They don't take food back. From, yeah, take, they take food back from the restaurants. I'll be afraid to take it back if I made a big stink. Right. But we did ask. You have, to, you have to be kind <laughs> if you're sending food back. Hey, Ken. Okay, you here's another one about the queen. Now you've got me on a roll with the queen. Uh -oh, the queen okay, never eats fast food, but makes an exception for burgers. The queen eats like burgers? burgers? Yeah. Yep. And from the something called the ball moral, B A L M O R A L. So mm. that's it. But otherwise, no other fast food. I can't believe okay. she eats a burger. Uh -oh. I can't believe that either. Well, you know, it's probably a like an burger Angus burger, like a top bun. of the line burger. It's probably a burger that's half like an Angus burger, she Angus steak. Oh, a fancy yeah. burger, not a Mc, not a McDonald's burger oh. with a little <laughs> patty. Yeah. Still not to the cheeseburger, <laughs> which I'm <laughs> <with that is. laughs> The lady says, "Where's the beef?" Oh <laughs> yeah, now that's the queen, All right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, here's one. Now you got me started on the queen. It says, okay, go ahead. Okay, it, this is funny. It says, um, "Does the royal family ever get drunk?" <gasps> oh, we know they do. Yes, Prince Harry did, <laughs> and they, they probably do. all do. <laughs> they probably do. They probably do. <laughs> but they probably they had drink. That castle bumping. <laughs> I was going to say, they drink high-end, high shelf, top shelf thing. Who doesn't like burgers? Hey, David, I love that. David is saying, who doesn't like burgers? I follow, If y'all don't follow true. David, y'all have to follow him. He is hilarious on Facebook. I don't, I don't know if he wants all this shine on him, but he is such a sweetheart and such a good heart. Um, I appreciate you chiming in, but who doesn't like a burger? You're absolutely right, David. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me what is that? A feather from the queen? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's my pen. <laughs> oh, that's your queen pen, right? Right. <laughs> there you go. What are you? You're writing a check. Write it out to Kim. <laughs> you put a lot of zeros before the decimal point. I mean, before. I was the gonna say point, maybe you need to point. make sure you send it to her. Um, okay. DM no her. problem. Yeah. Just don't check, don't cash it right now. Right, exactly. Have my account is set up. You gotta wait for the future. Okay. <laughs> You're believing. No, you call those people. You call her. I'll call you. <laughs> <tell you. laughs> oh my goodness! Never go out drunk. Um, Velva is saying. I guess the people in the castle and the queen and stuff go out 
I mean, get drunk, but they never go out drunk. But you know what? If you get drunk and you lose your way in the castle, you'd be walking around that castle until you got sober. Seriously. There are so many places you lost in. The king. Has anyone right. seen the king? Where is I guess he? It's princess. If she's a queen, there are no kings. <laughs> I bet if somebody got drunk so drunk one time they got to a little silver armor people <laughs> right just stayed in there. <laughs> no, only look, only raggedy people do that. Now, when you grow up around the armor, you don't even mess with it. But folks who have never been exposed are like, let me get into the armor, the tin can man. I can be the tin can man. <laughs> oh. Yes, they are. Uh, Velvet is saying that they are very religious. They are. They are, but but still, I mean, I, I want to say um, like Catholics, and I think they drink, don't they? Catholic, they and, do. Yeah, yeah. They take it. But it's funny sure. because you never heard or seen <laughs> anybody have a reality show over there in England. If you notice that, they they're what? not going to expose their lives. Reality shows for England. If you notice, oh. there's none that come from over there. But what if they start? I mean, they watch enough of ours. They had mm -hmm. one, but it was on, it wasn't on tele. Well, it wasn't on our television. Um, I actually saw it on. Wasn't it one where the lady was like a baker or she was a Dutch, Dutch. No, there were two. One where the lady like would get the kids in order, like the super nanny oh, or whatever. Nanny. Oh, I'm the, no, I'm talking about like a real housewife. Of London, like the ghetto, <laughs> the ghetto wise of London. <laughs> they, not, they not doing that. <laughs> not at all. They, there is, there was one. There was one. I'll have to think. Let me, let me oh, Google that. You know, you can anything you want in life, you can just Google. It. And if it's that? on the internet, of course, it's the truth because it's on the internet, <laughs> right? <laughs> so go ahead and Google. So it's true. <laughs> Go ahead and Google <laughs> while you're on okay. that assignment. <laughs> we, in, we invite you guys to like, share, and comment. Um, a couple of folks are still talking about the um, drinking. Uh, Eric says that is what is in the tea, alcohol. That's what the, that's what they. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should have known. So that's what the really queen. Not tea alcohol. Oh my God. James, that's true. It on. might be more alcohol with a little bit of tea on the side. See, right? She doesn't have to drive, so. <laughs> um, and we were talking about the suit of armor. David is talking about he would get into the suit of armor, and because what? of David's personality, I believe it. I believe it. He would get in the suit of armor and walk around with it on. So. <laughs> I believe it, David. <laughs> go. Velva said, "Drink, not drunk. Um, drink, but don't get drunk. That's possible to do." Mm -hmm. oh, that buzz, like buzz driving, buzz. Yes, tea buzz drinking. drinking. That's it. That is interesting. Found mm -hmm. out that the queen actually goes to restaurants. I guess she would get tired yeah. of being at home because all of us got tired of sitting at home. Right. right. Well, usually they said it was, okay, here it is. The Real Housewives of Cheshire. Oh, really? They had her, them. Yes. I saw it on huh. you, not you, yeah, YouTube. So, and they they were, so they, did it have any episodes? They I've were never the heard of castles and Really? Yeah. I'm going to look that up. Uh, yeah. Is it still on? Uh, let's see. I think it's off, but let me see. Um, it started, the original release was, was in 2015. It says the present, but you know, if nobody updated it, it could be off. I'm not sure. Oh, but the Real Housewives of Cheshire, oh, Cheshire. And one lady was, um, she actually had um, an element of being from the uh, royals, not the queen necessarily, but in that royal family where, you know, somebody was a duchess or a duke or whatever. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. That's interesting. Well, I didn't know that. Well, I will say you have brought a lot of knowledge to this conversation because we were I'm flying by the seat of our I pants. I went to college to learn how to Google. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Okay. <laughs> and David is in full agreement with you. I've forgotten about that. Yep. Um, England actually has several reality Benny shows Hill. based on reality. Look at Benny Hill. Do you remember that show, <laughs> Benny Hill? <laughs> I don't remember Benny Hill. <laughs> Only oh, you, yeah. David, would even is remember he guy, that. Is he the guy with the tight pants? <laughs> you are the one that used to watch it. I watched it because of you. <laughs> um, oh, I'm trying to remember. I don't even remember. He was like, wasn't he a heavy set guy? Yes. Benny with, Hill with that. Uh, light hair yeah that was like a pbs um reality show wasn't it well you know your mom thinks she's from there <laughs> no i didn't know that do tell do tell i i beg your pardon <laughs> i did Downtown not know that Abby? Yes, mother. Yeah, but that's not reality. That's like scripted, though, right? That's like a show. Daunton, that was a I show. never watched that. I uh, go, watch that. Was it going upstairs, downstairs? That, but that was like a sitcom. But the right, real, but it was funny. look up the Real Housewives of Cheshire. That was okay. a reality okay. show. Okay. And I'm trying to see. There was a couple. I think it said there were a couple of others, but. And I don't know if they were necessarily associated with the ones here, but they were a spinoff and they had other people, I think, you know, uh, doing it. Let's see. Right. Okay. Um, something I thought about while y'all were talking. I can't even remember now. Oh, look at okay. this. Uh-oh. Okay. Go on. You got it. It said that the Housewives is a franchise. The Real Housewives is an international reality television franchise that consists of 11 of 11 series in the United States and 15 international ones. Oh, I didn't know it was international. I didn't know that either. Yes. Well, yes. Andy Cohen certainly is smart and bravo because that's how it all started. And he saw it up. Did he think it up? He's got a that lot of him. Green in the bank. I bet. Franchise. Uh-oh. In memory, Kim, was there alcohol involved in memory? I don't know what you mean. I'm not drinking anything, David, if you're asking. <laughs> I just didn't. No, we're not drinking. I'm just drinking some tea. <laughs> All right. <laughs> He said that the show Benny Hill was on late at night for obvious reasons. Right. <laughs> you had to have a certain kind of sense of humor in order to like that show. Right. Why y'all look so serious? What kind of jokes you got? I'm going to send Ooh. you this. I'm going to send you this link, David. Are you um decent so that you can come on? <laughs> I gotta ask the that. fact that you had to ask. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that's an indication of something that you had to ask. Because he's the one you if you doing, baby? right, <laughs> if you follow his Facebook page, he's taking pictures with a pickle outfit on. Ain't no telling what he's got on. Oh, <laughs> Leopard and all. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, is God. too funny. <laughs> okay. I think we are going to wrap things up unless y'all got something else to say. <laughs> what? Velva yeah. says, I will. I don't know what you're saying. I will too, Velva. <laughs> We just wanted to come on and have a um, just have a few laughs, just lighten things up. It has been like almost an hour, so I am going to let you guys go. But we invite you to like, share, and subscribe to yeah. Kim's community um, on whatever platform you're on. We certainly would appreciate that. And um, we just want to come in and have a few laughs and um, appreciate it, David. And uh, this is what and this is really the heart of the show. We just want. Um, oh, thank you for joining us. And Velma, we appreciate it. And David saying that this was so much fun. So absolutely enjoyed it. So you guys mark your calendars, mark your um, every Thursday at eight o'clock. Sometimes we'll have experts brought in, but sometimes we'll just sit by the fireside and just chat. So you guys bring your funny, bring your questions and bring your topics for us to talk about. So is everybody mm -hmm. good? All hearts and minds clear, as they say. 
in the church mm-hmm. world. Now we're going to pass the collection yeah. plates. Don't y'all leave that quick. <laughs> <laughs> Don't walk out until you give an offering, right? right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. We appreciate you guys so much. Again, like and share and subscribe, depending on what you're watching or where you're watching on. You guys have a great evening and thanks for chiming in. Did you have something to say? I think Velma had a question. Okay. Did she where say, where are, are you from? Where are you from? Originally from Ohio, Toledo, Ohio, Velma. Mm-hmm. Come back. Oh, we're going to have to have you on, um, Miss McFall, Sister McFall. Oh, we're going to have to have you on. Now, that would have been. That She's hilarious. Been, now, that's I know. Amazing. That's what I'm saying. We'd have to have her on big time. So we'll have to plan that next time. All right, we'll guys. We'll make sure that she's on. Huh? Yes. And everybody bring a, a a towel because she's gonna have you laughing, and you are gonna be hysterical. Exactly. <laughs> she said, "My extended family." Absolutely. We love you so much. Thank you so much for chiming in. That's your heart. Right. Yes, <laughs> big time. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be on next time because you're funny. Uh huh. And David, let's get those. You know what? Those two would probably have us all screaming. David, David. and Brenda McFall. Okay, we'll have to. I'll all reach right. out to them. We'll have to plan that. Yeah. Yes, indeed. I get my stomach muscles tight. There you go. Don't have to do the <laughs> sit ups. Right. <laughs> And bring your teacups. Yes. All right, guys. I'm going to end it. I got a little fancy tea. Trina's got the big gulp tea. I got this little bitty teacup. Oh, but I'm going to get another one. I'm going to get another teacup. Well, I, you guys didn't tell me to bring a cup. This is all I got. My cup has dust in it. It was just sitting up here. I just grabbed it off the shelf. <laughs> you just got a water. Oh, you know what? Before we leave, I know what I had. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your cup. <laughs> Before we leave, I did ask you to share something inspirational with the folks um, so they'd have something, you know, to think about and to encourage them before we leave. So do you want to go ahead and do oh, that? Or, sure. Inter- I can share what I shared last night. Okay, and okay. Uh, it, it, I think it really impacted some people. But uh, one of the things that we talked about in this time, in this season, in this pandemic, I think this was excellent, Kim, because you gave us a chance to just come together and laugh. And for someone from the outside, it may not seem like it had much value, but it absolutely does because the word says that um, laughter is like a medicine to your bone. And sometimes when things, like I said, during this pandemic, things can be extremely heavy and overwhelming and everybody's kind of going through something. But I always encourage people and remind people to stay plugged in to their source. An example I used was like the uh, cell phone. If you don't plug it up, and it actually happened to me today, I didn't plug my phone up before last night and had to leave the house early and about 10 o'clock it died. So I didn't know if people were trying to call me or whatever, but stay plugged into your source. And of course, your source is God. Stay plugged into him and let him direct your way each day. But you don't want to run out of, of uh, energy just like you don't want your cell phone to quit on you. Nothing's worse than having a cell phone quit on you if, you don't, if you're not with somebody else where they have one or you have another one. So you want to stay plugged in to the source and the source we know is God. So be encouraged, hang in there. He's on our side. He's not against us. And, and, and we know this, this too shall pass. And on that note, we are going to say good night. And thank you guys so much for ch- chiming in and being with us. And remember, anytime um, we are on, just like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys. And we'll see you next Thursday at 8 o'clock. Take care. All right. Bye. Good night. Bye.